Humans are indeed one marvelous curiosity. We're not on the very, very best. There's a kind of a low grave nickel blamed angel. You know, be none of the worst. You've been despicable, unbelievable, and unforgivable. But by all the means and all the times, there are a sarcasm. I mean, all means, um, all sincerity. They call themselves the noblest wise work of gods or nature. I will be so harsh as the true, as so uncompromisable as justice. On this subject, I will not wish to speak in moderation. In the end, we will see that I was right. Is it so hard for humans to choose compassion? Decency and kindness over cruelty. How to farm humans? Indoctrinate them from a young age with lies and propaganda. Let them feel good about themselves. By any means necessary. Not tell them the truth. Instead, tell them fairy tales. Mulling modern them to your hands. Let them be, live there be smart. By any means necessary. Even if it costs the sanity of their society. Because they don't can handle truth. Or can we? This is most likely. The mindset of your government. The police, the ego, with deceitful public relations. How pollute and dissolute the real meanings of words and the real way of thinking of the population. Corrupt them. Let them feel they're special. In reality, to be so much of them that they're not can be considered special. And also because, in contrary with most popular opinions, human life is not more special than the life of any other creature on the world. For one example. Without uh, pollinators, this world we know uh, plants grow. There needs uh, pollination. Without um, big, most uh, kind of bacteria, um, organisms on this planet, like mammals, reptilians, uh, cannot digest their uh, minerals because. A lot of um, bacteria and actually need it to digest the uh, minerals and vitamins. The human body, for an example, have around something like 700 to 1000 kinds of bacteria. And the rate of bacteria on human cells is around something like 1. Um, human cell on 1.3 bacteria cells that means if you have a weight from s uh, around something like uh, 70 um, kilos that means that you will have around something like uh, 40 trillion bacteria and 30 trillion human cells can you can you see it now we've been in a we are in living in a world where anybody have germ phobia bacteria phobia and being afraid for anything that have a chance to hurt them. But we live also in a culture that eat animal products have been the main cause of many cancers, diabetes, osteoporosis and a lot of other far western diseases.
What is your excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? I know most men, we're afraid that um, if women get the equal rights in society, they was afraid that their life become less, uh, found out less. And therefore, they fight against it. Just like that with uh, blacks. Why are we afraid that uh, in some kind of weird way, blacks, uh, if blacks are get uh, equal rights in society, that their life becomes pure to man last. Just like corners that be afraid that if animals get their equal saint in society, it be not uh, watched anymore like uh, inanimate objects. That their life being paralyzed. Humans. Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, nothing the victim. Silence encouraged the tormentor, not the tormented. The greatest people in history have always stand on the side of the oppressed and defense the weakest party instead of the oppressor's party. Stand on the right side of history. Animals don't want to be your victim. Humanity's main focus have always to be extending some simple decency and compassion to this world. Instead of playing lip service to all the injustice of the world. Can we stop um, making excuses to uh, harm them? And instead make excuses to love all innocent living beings and respect nature in its beauty and live in harmony with the three laws of equality. The first law is uh, there is a limited and grow final resources. Second, all species being interdependent on each other with some others will need not survive. And last, there is a limited in caring uh, quality. And that means limited in humans before become overpopulation. Most animals seem to know these laws and live by it. But humans are the ones that's actually constant breakdown. How can the oppressor ask for any uh, thing when they're not being even willing to admit their crimes? Or the wrongs of their actions. It's just like if a um, dirty uh, lawyer with a rapist client blame uh, the raped victim from, from the rape. How can somebody uh, that uh, have not even uh, <laughs> remorse for their action claim to another that... Um, He's guilty of something similar. <laughs> That's pretty insane, is it not? Humans. Awaken. Humanity's main focus of to be always to extending compassion and decency to innocence. Instead of supporting might make right militant uh, elitist primitive mindsets. For the people that then say some stupid thing, like veganism is too expensive. Since when is a bunch of rice or potatoes or tomatoes, a corn, more expensive than meat, cheese and eggs? Do you actually that get the expensive shit? And if all the subsidies go away from the meat, dairy, and egg industry, well, it's around, around something 50, at least 50% of uh, all the uh, food subsidies go to the meat, dairy, and egg industry. In America, it is even 80%. Just because they're subsidizing the hell out of it, and that's the reason. That it is not extremely expensive. 
it is estimated that a hamburger will cost um, in a society that not to support diabetes, cancer, starvation, and might make rights. That a uh, hamburger will cost around something like uh, 50 dollars. 50. Not 15, 50. Will cost. If you have some um, big America monster burger. Humans. Awaken. Awaken. It's time that you adopt one biocentric point of view. That we stop watching anything from human perception. And that we, instead of that, try to see things from one Earth perception. If we want to claim that we be smart, if we want to claim that we be intelligent, then we have to learn to extend our compassion. Decency and morality to all living beings and not some groups that we privilege more than another. Then we have to consider all innocent beings, no matter if they be small, large, red and I'm rage. If they're being hairy or naked. Or they are being um, with um, scales, or have um, a skin. If they uh, have a complex uh, signal um, constructs nervous system, or one um, uncomplex uh, nervous system, a simple nervous system. Peace, compassion, decency. Begins on the dinner table, by what you eat on a daily basis. You don't pray for peace and compassion and kindness. And then the hypocritical final things. It's not that it would work, man. It's not that it would work. Good people do something to oppose hatred, oppression, elitism. What good is in this world is activism. Where good people stand up for what we write and say enough is enough. You have crossed the lines. A common action and oppose the beasts. Try to eliminate the monsters that been all come from the great evil mind of the most evil genius on this planet. The two legged one. Compassion. Kindness, decency, it is all choice for any living being. Any creature can choose to be kind, compassionate, or brutal and savage. It is all a choice. So, I don't understand why you choose violence when you can choose kindness. There is no nobility in protecting violent traditions, beliefs, and habits. So, is there also not one nobility in protecting victimizers? Like rapists, KKK members, uh, Ku Klux Klan people, uh, yes, Ku Klux Klan and that is KKK, um, or neo Nazis, or um, slaughterhouse workers, or hunters, or other despicable people on this planet. The victims are the only ones that need your voice. We have to stop. The cancer by its root. Instead of uh, cutting the tree of evil and make its branches grow even more robust. Understand you? Awake. When darkness and light become one, the reality spins away and the truth becomes visible. Humans are indeed one marvelous curiosity. When they're on the very, very best, there's a kind of a low grave nickel blamed angel. You know, being on the worst? You've been despicable, unbelievable, and unforgivable. 
but by all means and all the times, there are a sarcasm. I mean, all means, I mean, all sincerity, they call themselves the noblest wise work of gods or nature. 